The World Athletics Championships is currently holding its 18th edition at Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon. This prestigious event comes second in significance in the world of athletics after the Olympics. It's held every other year ever since its inaugural event in 1983. While there have been many surprises and upsets during this event, nothing can compare to what went down in the 100-meter hurdle race. Let's take a look at the shocking moment that caused such a fuss. In the 100-meter hurdles heat held on the 23rd of July, 2022, the athletic world was left shocked when USA's famous track athlete Nia Ali lost the race. It's not her loss that caused such a reaction from the fans, it's how she lost that truly did it. The 33-year-old was doing quite well and rushing past her opponent. She was in the lead immediately, sharing the spot with Jamaica's Brittany Anderson. Nia sped past everyone, effortlessly jumping over all the eight hurdles. It was on her ninth and second last hurdle, where she bumped her knee. She couldn't regain her balance after that, and on on the 10th and final hurdle, she crashed into it. Even Anderson looked back in disbelief as she ultimately won the race. The American athlete was left devastated on the track as she struggled to understand what had happened to her. After doing so well and staying in the lead, she ultimately lost her place in the semifinals because of such a rookie mistake. We're not even sure if we can call it a mistake, since it looked like luck just wasn't on Nia's side that day. The playback of her fall further revealed that Nia was applying the same strategy to jump over every hurdle with a right right leg raised over the hurdle and lifting herself using her left leg. But on the ninth hurdle, her foot tipped over the hurdle as she jumped, which made her lose her balance. On the last hurdle, Nia had given up completely as she just crashed into it. In the post-hurdle interview, Nia stated that she herself didn't know what happened since she was doing so well. She also explained that usually she does quickly regain her balance after a bump or a stumble, but this time she couldn't as the fall was, quote, too deep. Performing in front of her home crowd and failing to live up to their expectations has definitely disappointed the 33-year-old defending champion. We hope she recovers from this fall soon enough. But why was Nia Ali's fall so upsetting? Yes, her fall was quite an unexpected turn of events at the race. Despite being at the front throughout the race and keeping her calm, to fall at the very end came as a huge blow for her and her supporters. But that wasn't the only factor that turned this into a tragedy. Nia Ali had returned to the racetracks after many real-life hurdles. Prior to the World Athletic Athletics Championships, she had just given birth to her third child. Due to her pregnancy, she had to let go of her Olympic dreams at the Tokyo Olympics. Recovering from post-labor effects on her body, she decided to opt out from many competitions. Apart from that, Nia also mentioned how she was recovering from, quote, every injury under the sun last year. This year, she was set to make a historic comeback. In the 2019 World Championships, the American athlete brought home the gold by finishing the race 12.34 seconds. So, no wonder all hopes rested with her on her home ground. All of this makes her loss even more devastating. Fans quickly aired their disappointment online. As soon as the fall happened, Twitter erupted with reactions. Many called the moment heartbreaking and commented on how close Nia was to the finish line when the upset happened. Some even recalled how she's the reigning world champion and shouldn't have suffered such a simple defeat. Even the winner of the race, Anderson, shared a similar reaction when she raced through the finish line. Not only did she look back at Nia falling down, but she also didn't celebrate her win as a sign of respect for the defending champion. After her devastating defeat, Nia Ali went on her Twitter to share her views. She mentioned how important it was to accept both the good and the ugly. Her disappointment was apparent from her words, but the 33-year-old was also hopeful about the future. Ali ended the tweet by praising and wishing good luck for her Team USA and her training partner, Brittany Anderson. Moving on, who won the 100-meter hurdle race instead of Nia Ali? Despite Despite the efforts at making a great comeback, Nia Ali couldn't relive her 2019 glory. All the glory went to Nigeria's Toby Amason. In an epic showdown at the semifinals and finals, Amason ended up winning the gold medal for her country. Not only did Amason win the hurdle race, but she also shocked everyone by setting not one, but two world records. How did Amason manage to pull such a tremendous feat? Let's take a deeper look. The 25-year-old competed in the semifinals against Brittany Anderson, along with other national champions. At the start, Anderson and Amason seemed to be neck and neck, with both players outrunning each other by inches. However, midway through the race, she clearly outran all her opponents. She finished the race, clocking in at an incredible 12.12 seconds, absolutely annihilating the previous record of 12.20 seconds held by America's Kendra Harrison. The crowd went absolutely wild with that performance. The Nigerian athlete couldn't control her feelings as she sat on the tracks and wept. Brittany Anderson also went 
went up to her to congratulate the winner. But that wasn't all. On the same day, Toby competed in the finals against several world champions. At the very beginning of the race, Amazon breezed past her opponents and finally crossed the finish line. And she did it once again. She set a world record of completing the race at 12.06 seconds. No longer breaking down in tears, she raised her arms in celebration and asked the crowd to applaud more. According to commentator Tim Hutchins, many doubted that she could do it again, but they were wrong. He exclaimed, quote, Nigeria is on top of the world tonight, and we couldn't agree more. Now let's take a look at another world record claimed on the same day. Amazon wasn't the only one that succeeded in making a historic record. At the end of the World Championship 2022, Sweden's pole vaulter Armand Duplantis surprised the world once again by breaking his own world record. The 22-year-old world champion and Olympic champion continues to set the bar high, and we mean that literally, in pole vaulting. In the finals, he had already won after beating his opponents with a height of 6 meters. However, Duplantis didn't stop there. He attempted one last jump and broke his own record by vaulting over the bar at 6.21 meters. The Swede had broken the previous record that was also held by himself by one centimeter, and the golden boy did it so effortlessly, gliding over that pole, he made it look as if he did that in his sleep. Being just 22 years of age, he holds plenty of promise, but it seems as if he's already achieved what people in his profession spend years perfecting. Duplantis now holds five world records under his belt, three of which he only got this year. Talk about progress. Staying humble as ever, the Swede claimed afterwards that he wasn't really thinking of breaking a world record. His heart instead was set on getting that gold medal. Well, we can't wait to see what Duplantis achieves next. And we have another world record set in the 400-meter hurdle race. Team USA has a lot to be proud of in this year's world championships after winning a total of 33 medals. One of them came from Sydney McLaughlin, who won the 400-meter hurdle race and beat her own world record. The 22-year-old finished the race under 50.68 seconds, beating her previous time by 0.73 seconds. The track athlete later on marveled at how fast the sport is getting over the years. She had plenty of support from her family in the stands, and that was her main motivation for winning the gold. Finally, we have a 26-year-old world record broken. In the 200-meter hurdle race, we were expecting a brilliant showdown between America's Noah Lyles and Arian Knighton, as the two have been fierce competitors for quite some time. However, what we got was another historic moment as Noah Lyles managed to break the world record for completing a 200-meter hurdle race in 19.31 seconds. The previous world record was claimed by Michael Johnson in 1996 when he clocked in at 19.32 seconds. The 25-year-old didn't start celebrating until the screen read, Official. We wish the young runner all the best. That's a wrap for this video. Which moment from the World Athletic Championships surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.